Hi everyone. So I wanted to quickly explain what we're doing. It's Friday around 1.30 and we're planning to go to Columbus to do some garage sailing. And as you can see by all the luggage here, we're planning to stay overnight, maybe a couple of nights, not quite sure yet. But there's always a lot of sales at Labor Day weekend. So normally the whole weekend there's garage sales. Again, I think we'll just do a couple of days, probably this afternoon and tomorrow, maybe Sunday, not quite sure. We couldn't go this morning because our truck was still at the garage being fixed. And now we're waiting on MB to come pick us up and she'll take us up to where the truck is and then from there we'll head to Columbus. I'm really excited. I of course love garage sailing and it's been a while. I don't think we did any major garage sailing last year so definitely time to get that done. Uh, looking forward to hopefully finding some good bargains. I kind of debated this Hoosier cabinet, but definitely a few things missing. I'm a little rough around the edges, but still pretty. Route 62 is usually where all of the garage sales are Labor Day weekend and being that we had to pick the truck up in the area that we did, we actually went another route to Columbus and then just hit a few sales here and there. Uh, there weren't quite as many on Friday but it was a little later in the afternoon too so I imagine some places were probably closed already. But we had a highlight in Mount Vernon, they were actually having a classic car show, we always love that. And it was funny, two of the cars that were at the show we actually saw along our route. Um, I always try to take a video or pictures of old cars when I see them or just cool looking cars. It was a highlight for us to be able to actually see them then up close. Friday evening we ate at Ruby Tuesday and then stayed in Columbus in a motel. Uh, the next morning we loaded up and headed out again. We actually overslept a bit. I'm not sure what was with us. We both usually wake you know, around the same time and I blame it on the room darkening shades, like we didn't see any daylight, and I think it was 8.30 by the time we actually got up and we really wanted to be on the road by then, but oh well.
our first sale on Saturday morning was probably one of the best ones of the weekend. Um, so many nice things. I even started a little pile to the side with things that I wanted, small pieces of furniture and other things that I found. And John's reaction when he saw my pile accumulate was this. I, of course, didn't get to film every sale that we stopped at. Um, it's often kind of awkward to just walk into someone's home and start filming. I try to kind of be respectful with that. Since there was rain in the forecast for Saturday night and into Sunday morning, we decided to get a U-Haul. Uh, we've done this before where we rented one down there in Columbus and then were able to return it you know, closer to home. So glad we did that because it did rain a lot during the night. There's a store down here in Columbus, it's called Old Time Pottery, and I thought since we're down here anyway, I would love to just stop in. I'm always looking for, you know, candle containers especially, and some other things. It's just a really interesting store, so that's what we're doing right now. My dream is to someday make something like this, definitely on my bucket list. And here we are back home again. Short trips like this are so much fun, but there's nothing better than just pulling into your driveway and home sweet home. So as you can see, I'm surrounded by all of my garage sale finds. It was so much fun. Um, I feel like we did pretty good. And I'll quickly show you, I know the lighting is, I'm getting low on lighting again here, but 
Um, I'll quickly show you kind of what I have here. Bring the camera up close, uh, just kind of zoom over all of the furniture. And then I have some bags behind me here of smaller items that I want to show you. I found a few of these cute little benches that have upholstered seats. Uh, paid $6 for this one. And then over here is actually one that has a storage area underneath the seat. I thought that was kind of neat. Can't wait to paint it and put some new fabric on there. Some of these items I'm not even sure what I'll do with, but just kind of caught my eye. And this little stool here I believe was five or eight. And I'm always drawn to end tables or nightstands. Uh, it's something that's easy to paint and usually it's an easy sell at the antique mall. Two of them back there. This one is really pretty. I paid only $10 for it. There's a good sized coffee table underneath here. I paid $45 for four of these brand new farmhouse style chairs. Pretty sure I'll paint them, maybe distress them and get some of the red to show through. Always like to have clay pots on hand. Paid $2 for this old frame. When I saw it, I thought maybe a chalkboard in the middle there. I know this cart isn't really anything pretty to look at, but so handy to have around. I paid $10 for it and it works great. Actually used it to move some of this furniture out. And back here I have an antique fan. I believe I paid $8 for that and it actually works. And then the bookshelf, I removed the shelves. They're in the shop, but I paid $10 for this bookshelf and it's actually quite sturdy. I'd say it's made with real wood. Maybe not the back part, but like the sides and the shelves. Got a curious little kitty here. Hi, Pebbles. And I'll put the... And then this rocker here, I could not resist. I think I paid 20 for it. That's what it's marked. Sometimes I'll ask people if they will take less. But I think I paid 20 for it. It's in really good shape. And as you can see, it has a really low seat. But for short people like me, I kind of like that. So I'm almost debating to keep it for myself. Not quite sure. It came with a cushion. Not quite sure where that's at. It might still be on the truck. I'll put the camera on the tripod and show you guys some of the smaller things that I have in bags. So starting here, I have these little black mugs. They remind me of like campfire mugs. And of course, when I saw them, I thought right away to pour candles in them, maybe sell them on the Etsy shop, keep one for myself. I paid $2 for four of them. And I'm always drawn to blue dishes. You guys know how I like my blue dishes. Um, 25 cents, can't beat that. And uh, sadly, my plate broke. It was the only thing that broke for us, which is actually pretty good. But I think I may be able to glue it back together. I have all of the pieces. Also paid 25 cents for it. And I would probably just use it for decoration purposes anyway. So we'll see, maybe I'll try to glue it back together. I think the other pieces are in here. Uh, I'm not sure why I was drawn to this. Usually red is not really quite my color, but I thought maybe at Christmas time, just kind of like the color of this. And then this basket, not sure what I paid for it, but I thought it's a pretty basket. Six of these pretty teacups. I love white dishes or off-white dishes. And I have 12 of these cute little bowls. They're also heavy glass, uh, paid 50 cents a piece for them found four of these black bowls. I don't know, can you tell with the lighting here? Not sure what I paid for them, but they're also glass. And I don't know, sometimes I just kind of like black for a change. When I saw this black holder here, I thought right away, maybe hanging on the porch with a plant in it. I think it's probably made for a candle. You could do either, but I kind of like the look of that. Oh, this pretty leaf. I was so impressed. I paid $15 for it. It's of course brand new. Um, the lady that had the garage sale made this and I've always wanted to dabble in this myself. Just never have gotten, you know, found the time to do it, but um, she made it, you know, using an actual elephant ear leaf and it's slightly, you know, curved where you can actually put water in it and use it as a bird bath. And I don't know, this may end up on our back deck or on the front porch uh, for the birds. I know summer is almost over, but I might still use it this year. And this little wood 
holder thing. Just thought it was too cute to pass by. <laughs> and another little lantern. This is for a candle. And then last here I have this tray. And again, with the red, white, and blue, I'm not sure. It's probably not quite me, so maybe I'll end up painting it or just keep it for, you know, maybe use it over July 4th next year or sell up my booth. Not quite sure. As with all of these things, probably end up selling most of them. Here and there, there's some items that I want to keep. And I also wanted to show you what I found at the Old Time Pottery Store. This, of course, isn't a garage sale find, but I figured you guys might want to see. Uh, which I guess you did probably see it in the video too, but um, these containers just caught my eye. Um, I don't know, does the camera capture the pretty shade of green that they are? I just imagine a white wax poured into here, maybe rosemary sage or eucalyptus lavender or something kind of herby. And when I saw these pink containers, I thought Valentine's Day. So cute. Thanks for joining us on our garage sale haul. I sure had a lot of fun. It gives me mood to do some more. As always, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.